Okay, we are back, back in the live stream. Men's bronze medal game on the line. Team Tall and Thunder and Team Orai from Vilnius, Lithuania. For Team Orai, they are Lithuanian best players, like an all-star team. And they have got two of the best Lithuanian nation defenders. For team uh, teams are introduced to the audience. In this early morning there aren't very many spectators right now, but on the finals I think there might be a lot of watchers. Uh, for those of you who are watching right now, I do apologize for the previous game because I don't have a lot of information about the teams on my hands, so sorry if there is like some mispronunciation and uh, misinformation. Hopefully you are you enjoy this and we are happy that you watch this live stream. For Team Vorai, there is uh, one of the most experienced players, Saulius Skripskas, number one. Saurun Sarunas, number three. Pius, number nine. Mindaugas Mendelis, number ten from Cosmics. Dennis Solobio. Sorry for the surname. Dennis, number 11 from Varai. Aidas Figoras, number 19 from Mario Meshkas. Arturis Petrovskis, number 66, who is actually the president of Lithuanian Flying Disc Federation this year for the first time. And Mindaugas, number 81. For Tau and Thunder, there's Don Sik, number 99. Ryan Ismoro, number 74. Margus Leva, which is guest. Alexander, number three, which is the shortest and the quickest player of whole Estonian ultimate community. Tonis, number nine. Lauri Lauris, the star player of Tall and Thunder, number 69. Robin, number 12. Awo Kont, who is veteran player of Tall and Thunder. Actually, I think he might be one of the founders of this Tall and Thunder team. Peep, number tw 20. Vadim number 73 and Laur number 89. So Vorai will start on defense. Saulius with the pull. There, there is a big possibility that the team Vorai will throw out his own defense or junky look defense. They are famous for the its zone defenses. Last week in the Lithuanian National Championships, they did a great job against the flying worms of zone defense as well in the final game. So Saulius with the pull. Lance inbound. I Evo with the disc, number thir 13. Alexander, number 3. Upline throw to number 12. Robin. Robin with the disc. Searches for upline throw, gets one. Number 20. Peep with the disc. And nice, give and go. Peep and Robin. Three passes, one goal. Tau and Thunder gets their first game opener point. It's interesting to see that the Estonians has got a squad of 10 people, 10 players, and they have one offensive set and one defensive set. For now, we will see if the Estonian defensives could get the job done. For Lithuanians, Dennis on the field and Saulius will be the two primary handlers. Saulius catches the pull. Mindaugas with the disc. Dennis with a disc on the far sideline of the field. Salvius, nice upline cut, but there is a fall call, a bit physical contact. The player agreed that it was a contact. Salvius upline cut, but a miscommunication from Lithuanians, and uh, number 89 gets the defense. Vadim with a disc, swings to Lauri, star player for Talon Thunder, swings all the way to Vadim again. Upline throw to Let's see which number it is. It's 99. Ton sick with a point. Tallinn Thunder in the lead. Two to nothing. Let's see if this Vorai offense will get their first game opening point. For those of you who don't know what the ultimate is, it's a self officiated sport. There is no referees, usually played five on five in indoors. 
This is a bronze medal game. Play to 15 points or 45 minutes. Talon Thunder with a pull, went out of bounds. So always is sing signalizing for a brick mark. And Dennis is the second handler. And there is a horizontal stack from Warai. Nice upline throw from Salvis to number 19. An easy score for Timo Rai, number 19. Aidas. So yeah, number 19 gets the pass to Mindaugas Mendelis, number 10 from Cosmics. It is his original team. Now again, Team Orai on the defense. Dennis with the pull. Nice outside in pull, but it unfortunately went out went out of bounds. So Town will start from the brick mark. Saul is on the mark. Awa with the disc. Nice break throw to number 12. Robin. Alexander. Nice hand block from Dennis. Number 11 from uh, Varai. Nice give and go from number 81. Mindaugas. Back to Salius. Nice break throw to number 3. Sarunas, but from this point of view, it seemed that it was out of bounds, but no. Talon Thunder accepts that it was a point, so 2-2, two -two, tied. The big aspect of yesterday was Team Uri because they almost get the victory against the Latvian team Salzburg, well, I think. They were up by three points, but at the end of the game, maybe lack of Physical adherence made their loss by one point. And they had actually a good game against Tau and Tanner as well, but unfortunately they didn't get the victory. So they have a today it's the last game and a really good chance to get the revenge. Now we'll arrive with the pull, Abo with the disc. It's a low wall throw, but Abo says that it was a fall call. Lithuanian player agreed it, and this gets back in the game. Awo faking, good fake, gets to number 12. Alexander with a disc, searching for a break, gets one. Nice up fine throw to number 20, Peep. Gets back to Alexander, break throw, bladey throw to number 12, Robin. Gets the score. Town Tunner in the lead by one point. Let's see if the Estonian defensive set will get the early break. For Lithuanian Warai, they have eight players on the roster. One of the nation's best players of whole Lithuania. And and Vadim with the pull. Mindaugas gets the pull. Upline throw to Aidas. Dumps back to number nine. Swings to number 19, Aidas. Dumps back to number 10. There is a pick call on the field. So this gets back and the defender can go to the position where he wanted to be. Idas with a disc searching for a throw. Nice break throw to number three. Searching for a break. Couldn't quite catch it. And it wasn't a fall and it was a hand block from Vadim. He started his ultimate career I think two or three years ago in Tallinn. Still good, good defensive player. So Estonian defense with a chance to break. 
Nice hack from Vadim to Lauri, one of the Estonian star players. Easy point for Tallinn, gets the lead by two points. Feel free to send your, out your tweets and comments on Facebook and Twitter using hashtag BUCCI for Baltic Ultimate Champions Cup indoors. If you, if you have something to ask, please do it. We will try to do our best to answer your questions. For Estonians, Lauri is, as I mentioned before, a star player and a big, hu big playmaker. Saulius with Mindaugas with the disc swings to Idas, but it's unfortunate catch. Turnover. Lowry picking up the disc. Searching for a break. Swings to Vadim. Swings back to Lowry. And turnover from Talon Tanner. Dennis back to Saulius. Saulius upline throw to Sarunas. Back to Dennis. Nice blade, bladey, bladey break mark throw from Dennis to Idas. Idas is the biggest player on the team, right? And it, he is a really good zone player, deep cutter, and he gets the most of the Lithuanian points. Meanwhile, Dennis is famous for his bladey throws because it's like his trademark. Okay, now, talent under offense. Dennis with a pull. Outside in, backhand throw. This time lands in bounds. Awa with the disc, swings to number nine. Swings to Alexander number three. Dumps back to Avo. Nice dump swing continue. Nice throw to the middle of the field. Back to Avo. Swings to number nine. Alexander again with the disc. This these three handler set is doing a really great job against the Lithuanian zone defense. An easy score for Talon Thunder. Number 20. Peep gets the point. Talon Thunder in the lead by two points. Lauri with the pull. Salius. Pull went out of bounds. Signalizing for break. Sorry, brick mark. Horizontal stack from Team Warai. Dennis and Salius, two primary handlers. Up and throw to Mindaugas. Searching for a break. Nice push pass to Salius. Dennis with a disc. Nice scuba pass to Mindaugas. Excellent job. What a great catch by Mindaugas. Team Orai back in the game. Easy score by their offense. Now we will see if their defense will do a great job. Well, all the games of this tournament has been a very competitive and physical. And I think for the spectators and watchers of the or live stream are quite pleased of such a games. That was the main purpose of this Champions Cup. For now, again, Dennis with the pull, and this time it went out of bounds. Hava will pick will be picking up the disc and is going to the brick mark. Also for the Talent Tunnel, there is a Horizontal stack. They have switched a little bit of mark. No, they haven't, sorry. Number 12, Robin with a disc. Nice up line cut from Alexander. Nice fake. Nice fake. An easy pass for the goal to number 12, Robin. Town Thunder in the lead by two points, six to four.
It seems that for Team Vora it was it's a bit too slow start of the game, but their zone defense might be a game changer. Again, horizontal stack from Team Vorai. Dennis and Sal is two handlers. Nice cut from Mendaugas. Nice gainer, nice upline pass to number 11, Dennis. Swings all the way to Mendaugas to the far side of the field. And a little bit too high, too high throw from Mendaugas. Now, Tallinn on the offense. There is a man-to-man -man set from the team Warai. What with the disc? Again, big hack to Lauri, who catches, gets the position, elevates and catches the disc. Again, one easy point for Talon Thunder. They are in the lead by three points. Estonian defensive pressure is doing great job and they score a lot of easy points getting the advantage again Estonian defensive team pull out of bounds Dennis will be picking up the disc and starting the game from the brick mark most of the teams participating here usually plays a horizontal stack it's like one of the best tactical um, okay <laughs> nice upline throw by Dennis but number four from Estonia number 74 from Estonian Talon Thunder gets the Pochi defense nice inside out throw but it's miscommunication with 89 ton again Saul is picking up the disc searching for partners nice break throw to number nine Scuber pass to Aidas, gets the easy score. Vorai, minus two, down by only minus two points. Well, Team Vorai again, Salvis with the pull. Aidas on the defense. He will be defending the deep space of this of his own defense. Sorry, end zone. Salus with the pool. Lands in bounds. Oh, taking up the disc on the sideline. Nice break throw. Number three. Unfortunately, he couldn't get the defense. Two fast breaks from Tall and Thunder. It gets the easy points. Up by three points. Eight to five. And now it's half time. See you after two minutes.
Okay, we are back in the game. Baltic Ultimate Champions Cup men's bronze medal game. Tau and Thunder on the defense. Lowry with the pull. Mindaugas with the disc, searching for a break. Finds Dennis Sapline. Sarunas with the disc, nice Sapline cut. Searching for break. Breaks bloody throw, an easy point by Team Warai. Mindaugas gets the score. There you can see there is a lot of athleticism from that Lithuanian team. Nice, well-timed cuts, as well as very good time break mark throws. Okay, now, Tau and Thunder offensive set. And Dennis with the pull. Nice outside in, backhand. Alexander, quick pass to Alexander. Quick pass to Robin. Nice give and goes. Nice upline cut to number 12. And Lowry gets the pass. And Robin gets the score. Now Talon up by three points. And the good thing about the Lowry Lowry is that he's a quick, shifty, and important player for Talon Thunder. As because he's one of the players, the famous Lowry brothers from Team Estonia. Lowry with the pull. Lands in bounds. Number nine, pass number three, Sarunas. Dennis, dumps back to number nine. Nice inside, out break, throw to I Sarunas. Dumps back to Dennis. Nice scuba pass again to nine, number nine. There is a lot of give and goes from these two players. Again, give and go. Nice outside in break to Idas. Dumps back to number nine. Break Mark Rowe, but it's a bit unfortunate. It goes too short and too low. And number three, Sarunas couldn't have any chance to catch it. Again, Vadim with the disc, searching for the hug, swings back to Ton. Nice inside. Number 89 in the middle of the field. Dumps to Vadim. Hammers too. Yeah, and he's able to land in. But unfortunately, it's a drop from number 74. Dennis will be picking up the disc, and again, Horizontal stack from Team Warai. There's not many teams which uses a word stack in their offense because the horizontal stack gives a lot of space to cut and get the offense going on. For now, number nine on the far side of the field. Swings to number 19, Anas, who isn't able to catch the swing. It's a little bit too high. Vadim will be picking up the disc. Now you can see three Henry set and two in the end zone. Swings to Lowry. Searching for Huck. Upline throw to number 89. Swings to Ton. Breaks to Vadim. Again, inside out break from Vadim to Lowry. I think it was like sixth or fifth goal for the Lowry and he's doing a really great job, not only in scoring those points, but also in giving the passes. So, Team Warai down by minus four. Next game will be the final game for the, again, Latvian Championship final. It's like repeating. For now, Lowry with the disc, with the pull. Salios catches deep in the end zone. Nice break throw to Mindaugas. Back to Mindaugas. Swings to Dennis and a drop. Unfortunate drop from Team Warai. Again, Estonian defensive. Team has opportunity to score for Alexander. Fast break, fast swing. Robin with a disc. 
Upline throw to number 69, Lauri. Again, easy score. You can see that the, the Estonian Tall and Thunder has a great fundamentals of the game. Dump, swing, continue. If not working that out, they dumps back, swinging all the way to the other field of the other side of the field. And yeah, Team Arai, minus five points. They have to throw out the resort defense because yesterday they did a great job against the Salisbury's Wild Things as well as for Town Thunder. Salius with a disc. Wanted to break but unfortunate error. And he's kicking away the cones. The Estonians will start almost on the doorstep of their own land zone. Vadim picking up the disc. The Stalin Thunder is really doing a great job for pressure D defense. Vadim again with the disc. Dumps back to Ton. And a handlock from Vindalgas. What a game changer. But no, Ton is calling a fall. Ton is calling a fall. And no. His teammates are signalizing that it wasn't a fall, it was a queen hand block. What a great spirit from uh, Team Town Thunder. Now, Varai on the offense. And away we go. Sal is looking for break. Breaks to Mindaugas at the doorstep of their own end zone. Scuba pass to Sarunas. Nice, fast. Good score. Very critical for Team Varai. Estonians only four points away from the bronze medal. So if there is anybody looking this live stream from Scandinavia or Russia, you know that next year one of your best teams from your country will participate in this tournament, that's for sure. Now, Abo with the disc. Looking for a break. Finds Alexander upline. Nice inside out break to Robin. And again, Blady throw to number 20, Peep. He isn't able to catch the disc. It was a bit too far and too fast throw. Salis picking up the disc. Horizontals, no, sorry. Now you can see that Team Aura is using vert stack, switching the offensive set. There is a good defense from uh, Talent Thunder, covering not only the break side, but actually the live side of the field. Unfortunate defense from the Estonian. Mindaugas with the disc, nice inside out break to Mindaugas. Passes back to Sarunas, looking for a break. Dumps back to Mindaugas. Nice break throw to Mindaugas. Again, at the doorstep. Looking for Scuba. Dumps back to all the way to the middle of the field to Salis. Hammers too. And unfortunately, is not able to get it. But there might be a fall call. No, there isn't. Very quick competitive ultimate from bro both teams. Maybe a lack of the last throw is preventing the team Warai from scoring those points. For now, they are switching the mark. They are forcing flick, allowing for Estonians to get easy hammers. <coughs> and the number 12 throws the easy hammer to number 20. Peep. Who gets another point for Town Thunder? Vorai still down by minus five points. It seems that Arturas Petrauskas, who is the president of Lithuanian Flying Disc Federation, is not playing currently. Maybe he has got an injury or something. For now, Team Vorai again on the offense. Lowry with the pull. Nice pull to back and the end zone. Dennis with the disc. 
finds Artis in the up line. Dumps back to Sarunas. Hammer throw. And it's a bit overthrown. But what a grab. Artis is able to get the skin. And the Estonians are signalizing that it's the inbounds. And what a grab. Definitely Idis is the one of the biggest playmakers of this bronze medal game. Holy smokes. Is this might be the game changer for Team Warai? Artur is now on the field. They will be trying to make a pressure defense to get those points. The game is not lost yet. Dennis with a pull. Nice inside out pull to the corner of their own end zone, of enemy's end zone. Number nine. Hawk two. Easy score by Talon Thunder, but <coughs> number 12, Robin, at the bookends, is able to reel in the disc and gets the score. 13 8. Still, Team Warai down by minus five points. <coughs> Fifteen minutes left. <laughs> Dennis with a disc. Finds Mindaugas up line. Again, scuba pass to Idas. And he is able to get it. Nice catch. Some misunderstanding from the Talon Thunder defensive set. And Team Warai. Two passes, one goal. Still, mine is down by four. They have to throw out the zone defense to make the game changing points and get those breaks. <coughs> Again, Dennis with the pull. It's a critical for Team Warai to making those good matchups on the defense because it might play a critical role for the defense and getting the, the break points. Avo passes to number eight, dumps back to Alexander, swings to Avo. Sends out the hammer and it's caught. Peep Robin. 14-9. This is the last point for Estonian defensive team. Hopefully it's not. We would like to see more comeback from the team Warai. And hopefully they will manage to do it. Seems there is a little bit of tiredness from Lithuanians. But they still are doing great job with their short roster. Maybe lack of physicality. Again, Salvius picking up the pull. Deep in the end zone. Founds number nine, up line. Searching for a dump. Couldn't quite any. Finds Idis in the up line. Nice up line throw, but number nine from Vorai. Pius isn't able to get it. Now, Talon Thunder on the on offense. Robin with the disc. Dumps to Lauri. Breaks to Vadim. And Vadim gets the last point. Talon Thunder, Baltic Ultimate Champions Cup bronze medalists. Congratulations. This time we weren't really able to get the game going on and it was at, as it was uh, yesterday. Unch unfortunate for them. But I hope hopefully they will win their national champions championship next year and we will come back next year with a better squad, better offense and maybe a lot of zone defenses. Next we will have a woman champion title on the line after 15 minutes. So have a little break, prepare your drinks and see you after 15 minutes. Peace. <laughs> 